Hi, I am Victor Paredes and I want to show you a new feature coming with Anime Studio 11.2 which is called uh, Clip Shadow to Group. So, normally in Anime Studio when you create a shadow you go to the layer you create a, you want to create a shadow so I will go to the head group here of this character and I will select the glasses of this character. So I have this layer here and I will double click this layer to open its properties and I will go to the shadows tab and I will activate the shadow here and apply this change. So now if I go to file preview to render a preview you can see the glasses have or has a shadow but you can see the shadow is being shown outside of the character so you are seeing shadow here but you actually don't want to see a shadow here because that is not part of the character that is part of the background so I will close this and we have this new option here which is called clip shadow to group so when I check this uh, option and apply it the software will look uh, at the group which contains the shadow in this case the head group this group contains several layers okay and contains the glasses so the the software will show the the shadow only inside of the layers of this group okay so now if i go to file and render a preview you can see the glasses have the shadow but you can see there is no shadow outside of the group because you only want to cast the shadow inside of the head okay so it is a very simple checkbox but it makes easier something that in the past was very difficult to do so if I take an arm here for example and I put the arm and the hand here and now I will render a preview you can see how the uh, glasses uh, have shadow inside of the head but not over the hand because the hand is not part of the same group now if I close this um, I can make the same with the head so I will close the group of the head and now I will open the pro layer properties of the head group layer and I will activate the shadow and if I apply this and make a preview you can see how the head shadow is being shown outside of the character but again I don't want that so I will check clip shadow to group apply it and now the software will apply the the shadow only only to the layers inside this group so the the head layer is part of the papa group it can be a group or a bone layer in this case it is a bone layer so the head layer is part of the papa bone group so the shadow of the head will be applied only over the the layers inside the bone group so if i apply this i can go to file and render a preview and you can see how the shadow now it is not being shown outside of the character i only see it inside of the character so it is very useful and if i go back to my character and again i take this arm and i can put the arm here and if i render a preview of this you can see how the shadow is being applied also to the arm because the arm is part of the same group too so uh, you can group your characters uh, to see how the shadow will be uh, created inside it so it is a very cool new feature it is a little checkbox but you can see it is very powerful so i hope you like it thank you for watching bye